Hi, Ken from Audio Talk. In the last video, we were talking about whenever to use a back box or not. And my opinion is clearly to use one. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about how, if it matters, how big it is, and it does. And so, um, I definitely recommend to uh, watch both videos. And, um, and so, it really does matter. And in what you call the TL small parameters, which is uh, not very rarely present for these uh, ceiling speakers, but if you have the ability to measure it, I highly recommend it. It would take like a DATS V2 from Dayton Audio, for example, like that. There's even a V3, a version 3 now out. Um, but that costs some money. But there you can measure uh, these values so you can get a really uh, perfect box for, for your speaker. Um, so, but these, um, this is what, what you would calculate it from. But um, I have measured a lot of these uh, in, in my line of work. And uh, what I found is that 0.9 cubic feet is what I end up with as a, uh, for eight and six inches, which is the most common size to be used in like a fairly serious system. Uh, anything smaller is going to be really anemic uh, for bass, and you know you will you will need a subwoofer. So I mean, certainly you need uh, six uh, to eight inches. So that's that's definitely in 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 in. Um, what I work with, that's basically always the case, and I'll say predominantly eight inches, which is a size like this. And so, um, so the point nine is 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 actually what it's been consistently on on all of these, and that will give. Uh, for the most uh, uh, Q factor of uh, about 1.2 to 1.5, uh, which is slightly bit on the boomy side if you're an audiophile, but it's what most of us uh, regular users are, uh, are liking and what you will find in uh, products today. I will actually say that many products have a much higher uh, Q factor. If you take a, a Bose subwoofer or uh, many other, um, what can you say, like uh, mid sized uh, stereo systems, they will have one of like three of a Q factor. So there you have a lot of lingering uh, of the initial impulse. So that's what we're talking about is that once the, the woofer uh, gets the impulse from the amplifier like to make a stroke like a, a, a throw and um, how much is it lingering after and you would think that you want it to be as precise as possible but the thing is that that makes a very transparent uh, sound if it's too extreme and and so a tight one gives a lot of nuance. You can hear a lot of detail. And then it, the thicker it gets, the more you reach towards what's called a one note bass, which is what a cheap subwoofer would have where everything sounds like it's the same tone. That is the extreme of that. And the other end of the scale, you have a very, very like almost see-through uh, s uh, sounding uh, uh, bass and so on that scale you're gonna be somewhere you know um, for uh, an audio file most people will like a 0.7 uh, Butterworth uh, alignment what it's called and I would say for people that just want to be entertained a 1.5 so, but that's very generalized. So for the box, uh, my recommendation is, of course, to ask the manufacturers, but as a matter of fact, I've seen a lot of manufacturers are afraid to recommend the boxes. And I think they're just afraid of uh, discouraging people from getting this. And you can use 
these speakers without a box it's just that you will get more performance here's ken from audio talk and i hope that you would tune in for the next video have fun with your projects